Hello. In this video, I'm going to step through some of the features of our In Contact to Microsoft Dynamics Serum Professional Integration Package. This package features a new tool from Microsoft that comes included with many Dynamics Serum licenses called Unified Service Desk, or USD. In our professional package, we embed a light In Contact agent and Microsoft Dynamics CRM into a single sign-on agent portal that can handle multiple contact sessions. The first thing I'd like to do is to show you a screen pop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my VoIP desktop phone in order to call into a point of contact that's linked to this agent. So I'll place my call. Hello, please press 1 at any time to speak to a test agent. You can see my inbound contact is happening. There's a basic call script that's already popped. My agent leg right now is connecting. It's my cell phone, so I'm going to answer it. The call is incoming. Now connected. And I'm now active on the call with the customer. You can see my contact has popped. There was only one matching Annie in this particular CRM database, so my contact popped right away. I'm also showing how there's a second tab where I've opened up an Internet Explorer browser instance, and I've already populated the Annie information into a search and basically hit enter to do a search for that. I'm showing how we can dynamically use parameters and pass them between various windows. I have my contact information basic contact information up in the left, upper left hand corner. I have my call script and I have my questions and answers uh, for that call script. So is this a new request or an existing request? If it's a new request I could click create a new case. My new tab opens. I'm already entering that the origin was a phone. We could enter the contact automatically by default since we already have a record of them in the system. I could also display a list of existing cases inside of a view on another tab. So this is my list of active cases related to this particular contact. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this contact open uh, because perhaps I want to add a phone call activity and do some after call work to notate my call. What I am going to do is I'm going to hang up inside of the agent console. And you can see I'm disconnected and I'm put into an unavailable state uh, where I can do some post-call work. I'm going to go back to being available. And you'll notice I have a session with Patrick Sands open. And I have all of my tabs open where I've done my various work and maybe I've entered data already. While I'm available, maybe a high priority call comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate another call. Hello, please press 1 at any time to speak to a test agent. This So I have another inbound call coming in. My agent leg is connecting. I'm going to answer it. Now connected. Now in this case I'm calling from the same number, so the same contact is going to pop. But the important thing to notice is that I still have my original session available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my original session. You can see I'm already well into the script. I still have all of my tabs that I've opened up related to this particular call session. I can still see that, that I'm on the agent on an inbound call. I can switch back to my new session and you can see I only have the two tabs open and my call script is back to the beginning. So in this case I might create a new case. So my new case pops up in my new session and that's really one of the powers of USD is I'm embedding all of these tabs inside of a session which would really be a contact session. It could be related to an email, a chat, or a social event, or a phone call coming in. Even while I'm inside of these sessions I can still do a search as a global event. So what I'll do is I've done a search I can search for a, pic a particular name. And I can open up that account. And I've created yet another new session because I've opened up an account. Another feature unique to Unified Service Desk is the ability to embed third-party products. 
So in this case, we have an agent for in contact embedded in the left panel. We're looking at CRM embedded in the right panel. I can also create links to other programs. For example, I have a button up here that goes to the in contact website and opens up an Internet Explorer instance. You can see I clicked on the button, but it didn't bring my tab into focus. That's all configurable. So I can open up a series of tabs, pick one particular one to open all on one action, but have them available for reference at any point. I can also click on the Customer Dynamics link, and inside of the same tab, I'm going to update and go to our website. Another option would be to add a link to a third-party executable that might be on the agent's desktop. That's advanced configuration, but it would be possible to take all of your agent's applications and embed them in one place and start sharing parameters between them and build them into a workflow. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions or like additional information, please reach out to Customer Dynamics.